Now everybody else wants to come up with Zimmer, Zimmer, Zimmer. He probably didn't do it. That seems strange, don't it? That's the, that's the folks that's behind. Turn to the next page. Next page. Next page. See, let me see it. Let me see it. See them Fortune 500 companies? Those are the ones that's behind standing your ground. Turn to the next page. All of them are Fortune 500 companies. From Walgreens to AT&T to Coca-Cola. That's who's behind that law. That's who's behind this. Okay? When we was fighting in the South, there were laws that said you can't go in this restaurant, right? right. Said you can't go in this movie. You can't do it. Law! This is the first time they ever had a law that said they can kill me. And y'all don't see how big this shit is. Huh? Omar Johnson. That's what this is about. Huh? That's what this is about. Now then you ask yourself some questions, just getting all emotional. He went to 7-Eleven, and what did he get? Okay, now ask yourself a question. When have you ever dealt with a homicide, and they were busy telling you what he bought, then telling you about the homicide? He probably never went there. Huh? You know 7-Eleven take pictures when you're going in, when you're in store, when you're coming out. How come we, until a bunch of us got to holler, then they showed us a picture two weeks ago, or here and there, but they showed the back of his head. They didn't show him going in or coming out. He was staying with his father? Huh? In a gated community? Huh? Nobody ever been murdered there because that's basically a white community. 53,000 people live in the state, basically white folks. So how could a 17-year-old black boy lay in a mark in a town that's basically white and they had him there three days as a John Doe? How did that happen when the mom and dad's calling the police station every day and they got him listed as missing? Huh? And y'all sitting there getting all upset because they want you to be all upset. Instead of saying, wait a minute. If you my sister, you live in a gated community, and I'm going to spend two weeks with you, we got to turn in my name, address, how long I'm going to be there, and give me a key, and the cameras take me coming in and going out. How come you never seen a picture of him leaving that gated community or coming back in? That means he didn't get killed there. And y'all stop all your emotional bullshit. And stop believing what NBC and CBS and all of them tell you. They don't know nothing. Huh? Kennedy. This is, this is, this is our team. We put this out here. I know it's unfair for y'all in the back. Can y'all see this shit? That's Lee Javiano. See? You know, the cop, you don't know, know the cop. Tibbet was killed. That's the gun that killed Tibbet. And this is the rifle that shot Kennedy. Something wrong with this picture. Can y'all see that picture? See the shadow behind him? Yeah. See the shadow behind? Now look at the shadow on his nose. It's coming in the front. You can't have a shadow going in the back and the front. This is a dub picture. This is a picture where they dug his head on there. That's how tricky they are. That's what this is about. They do it every day. They just play up on your emotions. Anything they say, is I don't believe it. Even if it's true, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Look at this here, real quick, real quick. So we get, get out of here. Look at that. This is a body, and it tells you every segment of your body what it sells for. Look, look at that. Look at those money numbers. Turn around. That's what Trayvon Market was. Body part. That's what it was about. They make more money off of selling illegal body parts than they make on all the worldwide drug and worldwide prostitution. And one point, Hold one around. million, I'm sorry, 1,700, he wants to show that, hey, check this over there. Hear me now, 1,700 black and Hispanic men get murdered every night. And y'all talk about y'all spiritual and extra bad, and you don't know it, you can't feel it. Every night, every night, it happens, okay? And the only reason that got out, cause black radio and black voices, 
They kept harping and harping, otherwise nobody would have known that. Again, read the date and the headline. Listen to this. Uh, here, here, here. The date. Okay, New York Times, July 24th, 2009. Okay. 44 charged by U.S. and New Jersey corruption sweep. A two-year-old corruption international money laundering investigation. A two-year corruption and international money laundering investigation stretching from New Jersey shore to Brooklyn, to Israel, to Switzerland. Now you read, when you read New Jersey, Brooklyn, here to Switzerland, the last one listed is the one who's the boss. And right. Switzerland. Okay, now listen to this. Calculating and charges against 44 people on Thursday, including three New Jersey mayors, two states similar, five rabbis, the authority says. Now skip to the next paragraph. It was repeated, it was <laughs> repeated that tales of illegal sales of body parts. Slow it down. Hear this. Of fugitive, negotiating in diners, parking lots, and boiler rooms. Skip to the next sentence. The next sentence. That's the right where you read. The next sentence down. Okay, or next down, okay. A man turned out indeed informant, and again and again. Skip to the next one. Of the passing of cash. Once in a box of Applejack cereal. Next sentence. The For these defendants, corruption was a way of life. Ralph J. Mara Jr., the actual United States Attorney, Attorney General, and New Jersey said at a news conference, they exist in ethnic free zones. Thank you. Go ahead, keep on. Mr. Myers said the average citizen don't have a chance against the culture of influence peddling the investigation has unearthed. Even veteran politicians, observers, were taken back by the scope of investigation. The mayors of Hoboken, Secaucus, oh, oh, one minute.
Now, I'd be so sick and tired of listening to y'all on the radio talking about we got to do something to stop the violence. You didn't start the violence. You didn't start the violence. Probably one of the greatest researchers on chemical warfare. I've been working with him for 25 years. This never ran in an American paper. Crime linked to pollution. Polluted water can cause brain damage that turns ordinary people into violent criminals. Well, you ain't gonna buy no bottle water. You're gonna drink that stuff they hook up to your pipes. And run the water too. Send them to school, they drink that water, wonder why they act crazy, and you blame it on your nigga stuff. Well, let me tell you what it is. Turn violent criminals for research. That's Roger Masters of Dartmouth College and hand over, you know, compare crime figures from the FBI with information on the industrial discharge of layer and manganese. At night while you sleep, they spray that stuff through your neighborhood. And then you wake up the next morning and think that's you acting the fool. Kim Trail, they know what they're doing. You're sitting out there buying some marijuana and all that stuff, and I'm not telling you this for you to stop. I couldn't care less once you know it. But what do you think they putting in it? Huh? What do you think they putting in it? You soldiers that was in the army, you older ones, they put saltpeter in your food when you went up to the front so your dick wouldn't get hard, so you just go there to kill. They didn't tell you it was there, and your shit worked. <laughs> What I'm trying to say, you live in a country with the most heathen, ungodly, unspiritual thug in the history of the planet, and you trust everybody but niggas. And don't think them niggas don't work for them too. But if your spirit is right, you can't learn it, you can tell when a brother or sister come up and they ain't right. And your spirit will just overtake it. And they say, wait a minute, I got to get out of here. And so he tell you how it and he goes on to say, he found a link between pollution levels and murder, assault and robbery. Counties with the highest pollution level have a crime rate triple America's average. But you so busy locked into that bullshit, you think that's you. I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know what's wrong. What's wrong with Hitler? What's wrong with all them thugs? Family values, damn family values. I am the family. I never stole nobody. I never took them away from their religion. I never took them away from their tongue and their mother. I am family values, nigga. I am family values. They had laws that said they called my person teach me how to read. They'd kill us both. They had laws that said I couldn't marry you, and now they're going to tell you about family values. I wish all niggas wasn't married. I wish niggas took a, a day like Christmas just go out and rob banks. <laughs> you ain't gonna like me. Look, we got a president now, huh? Went to day school. They never had nobody in the White House that and treat that nigga like worse than they treat my old third grade dropout nigga cousins. Huh? And y'all always have we send our bet. I wish I'd have been. I was I got a cousin, Jabbo Jones, and they can't read, right? stay drunk, like, that's the nigga that needs to be president. <laughs> <laughs> you send your best, and they treat them like that. So send your worst. Huh? Send your worst. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish Obama had special, I wish that nigga could turn into a dog in the middle of the night. <laughs> he go down there to Arizona and that white, uh, go. Shook her finger in his face. See, the boy ain't nigga enough for me. He should have ate that bitch's hand. <laughs> Give me some barbecue sauce with some muscles up and then put that other hand up here too. I ain't fool. <laughs> Y'all walking around, oh, he's so intelligent. Them white folks don't care. They don't care. And this is just a test. No, this is a test. They gave these white folks a half a nigga. That nigga ain't no full nigga. Mine was right there. That's a half a nigga. And then you get about a half a nigga. What do you think when a real nigga get in huh? They just trying to wean them so they can get used because they know who you are. Hmm? And 
and they know what that mountain is going to do. Hmm? You don't know it. You don't know it. If you did, you know what the alcohol, what it do to your mountain. They ain't got no. Huh? And when somebody tell you that, oh, how do you know they ain't? Oh, come on, y'all, please. Somewhere. So I hope when you leave here, just drop your seat.